Hello everybody, welcome to the second round match between Fatal Justice and his Amazons and Hancock and his Undead and oh my god what a start. Five Amazons taken down by the five plus um, pitch invasion. So there's only six standing versus the full 11 of the Undead. Unbelievable. The inducements are a bribe for the uh, Amazons. So this is like an incredible star for Hancock. Though I happen to know that he was not up for this match at all. He was he was not feeling it, but there you go. Three, four, five, seven guard total for the Zons. And for the undead, three, four, five, six guard. Pretty nice undead team. Pretty normal. Amazon team. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Pretty unremarkable teams, but you know Hancock's. Uh, Hancock is is a good coach, and you know, Fatal Justice is fine. <laughs> Without making that sound bad, I think I think you know I think you know Hancock did that amazing. Kind of fight back in the first round, didn't he? So maybe he can do that again. Who knows? Couldn't be hooped. But I mean, this is a great star, right? The pitch invasion. Okay, the send off, not the best. I'm just gonna move to him first. Maybe he didn't want to. Would like somebody on these two, right? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Get someone on them too. It's possible. And where this ghoul started. Get somebody on them too, I'd quite like. Happy Jack. <laughs> Hello, Jack Will. Zons in Chalice. Zons will never win Chalice. Um, that's definitely true. That is definitely true. We all know that. Dimmy G, the speaker of the truth, has told us. And now they're fully recovered, right? And they haven't really lost anything. They've lost a Garda, and they've removed a Garda, and another Garda. Maybe he's don't foul the Garda. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I would have I would have had him as a, as a 50k guard player, I guess. <laughs> but, um... Like, you can high roll, can't you? It, it, it is what it is. It is what it is at the end of the day. Um, funnily enough, Chunter has been playing his crappy Nurgle. And he's been fouling with Sneaky Git. And he's been thinking that Sneaky Git is good skill. Because he fouls more often. But, you know, all he's doing is fouling the correct amount of times. <laughs> for the team that he has. And high rolling because he's fouling more. But at the end of the day, Sneaky Git is rubbish. And shouldn't be playing into his decision with a foul. So really, sneak the existence of Sneaky Git is just making him play more often. And... Uh, Maybe it was optimal there to foul, even though you've got a guard, you know, just to try and get those early removals. It's not that unlikely you get sent off. Who knows? Yes, uh, that was Dimmy's rationale, wasn't it? If Cave Fog can't win it with Zons, nobody can. Which, it's just not true. <laughs> Ultimately, it's just not true, because anybody can win with anything. Once you get to a certain level, you know... Like a second tier coach. You know, many second tier coaches have won Chalice. Um, many, many, many tier two coaches have won Chalice. And once you're even second tier, there's just so much luck involved. Just is what it is.
Yeah, I think generally fouling is underappreciated for how swingy it can be. Like, even though we all get savaged by it occasionally, I think maybe people don't. But the, th the problem is, of course, if you're good, then you think, I'm going to win anyway, right? Or I don't need the low roll. Like, like the thing is with me and fouling, the low roll, the low roll is so likely that I um, that I don't, I don't want to risk the low roll, um, even if the high roll is desirable, right? So it's like, it's a, it's a funny, it's a funny thing. Who knows? Who knows what the right answer is? Yeah, but I mean, it's it helps it, but it's still not real. The problem with Dimmy's point is, it's still just, at the end of the day, there's just a lot of luck. I don't know who, I don't know who her is. Is that misspelled tree? I guess, I guess it must be, right? Because there's not that many, there's not that many hers you could put solid Hancock to here. <laughs> It must be a misspelled tree quote. <laughs> Solid Hancock team. <laughs> but to who, Hancock? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. How <laughs> very dare you. <laughs> no, I I never do. It was funny when Fault Force was like, You've got about forty unbanned requests, Jim. <laughs> Uh, maybe he's not 40. <laughs> but I had a few. It's horrible at exposing these ghouls, isn't it? Like, I'm not saying he had much choice, but it's just horrible. It's just horrible because if they get tackle pommed, it's like, it's pretty much the end of the world. It's so, it's so rotten getting your, uh, like getting them hit at all, but especially tackle pommed. It's just so fucking brutal. Yeah. Hello, hello, Moradam, by the way. Sorry, I did I did spot you speaking to second coaches I'm here, but I just didn't say hello. Sorry. <laughs> I think I was midway through a thought and just carried on. Down to zero glorious. Yeah, I I mean I was obviously there was a there was some there was a period of time where I was incredibly like incredibly way more than now miserable and uh, I was very unhappy. Hello, Astro Tor. Uh, not bad, thanks. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. It's uh, zones are so annoying as well when they play like this, aren't they? Like Hancock was like saying how annoying zones are, and like sometimes they're not that annoying, but when they just make like every dodge like that, when they're just dodging, like you know, they're making two or three dodges every turn, and they make every one. Oh my god, it, is, it makes me fucking livid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe Maradon, maybe. But yeah, like, I think it's fine. Like, I think at the end of the day, uh, it's up to the streamer to do whatever the fuck they want, isn't it? And, okay, a ban might be a bit harsh, but if it, if it makes you happy, then fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> So that's that's why that's why I banned Dimmy um, for saying hello once. <laughs> because I knew he was gonna do my editing. <laughs> oh dear. And you know, like I've got nothing against Dimmy at all, but I just knew I just knew he was gonna I just knew he was going to do my head in. And I just thought it's just better for me to just ban him now before he does my head in. 
it was insulin for no reason, but I knew I was in a bad mood and it was gonna it was gonna all end in tears. So better just to get rid of it. After he'd used my sub emote as well, that was the best part. It wasn't even he didn't even just type hello in chat, he did the hello emote. <laughs> <laughs> done anything, yeah, just instantly banned. <laughs> Fucking do me. Fucking do me. Um. <laughs> uh, that was Fashbinder, uh, Astro Tor, yes. He hasn't he hasn't been around for a long time. He was a bit of a knobhead. Um, well, maybe he's more than a bit of a knobhead. Quite a knobhead. Uh, then refused to even vaguely attempt to apologise. Um, or get back to me in any way or anything, and then he's he streamed the occasional thing since. Oh my god, um, such as NFT horse racing. Um, so there you go. But he's, he's still around a little bit. You see him online sometimes. But was he? Was he school? I, I don't know about that to be honest. But he was definitely. He was definitely a knobhead, which was enough for me to ban him. And then, uh, I just wanted to apologise at the end of the day, like, but he didn't even do that. He showed no interest in that, so fair enough. Yeah, there was NFT horse racing, yeah. Which Skuro said something to the... Uh, Hello, Skuro, by the way. Which something said, the Skuro said, like, words to the effect of, if any, if any fucking piece of shit would be doing that, you'd think it'd be Fash. <laughs> something like that, he said. <laughs> Pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah, that was funny. It was funny. Like, he was a funny guy. He was a really funny guy. Most of the time. But then he said one thing, which was maybe meant to be a joke, but it was just really weird. And he shouldn't have said it. And rather than just like... And I didn't even like... I just banned him and didn't, like, I didn't rage at him or anything. And I was just like, what the fuck was that? Like, I PM'd him and I was like, what the fuck's that about? And like, I, just, I didn't even say, like, I wasn't even raging or anything. And he just showed no interest in like... In like... Saying anything to try and get back. <laughs> You're a funny guy, Solid. That's why I'll kill you last. <laughs> Remember when I said I'll kill you last? That's right, Major, you did! I lied. <laughs> yeah, I did a lot of bunnies. Yeah, I did a lot of bunnies. <laughs> what? Where did he go? I let him go. That, that's like the worst, right? When they say things like that for the audience. And she'd be like, what the hell? Yeah, I did, yeah. Oh, God, man. I was, I've been a right knobhead in the past. What can I say? I'm sorry. But again, look, at the, at the end of the day, right, it was... At least I was putting my mental health first. Like, I did it in a completely asshole way and everything, of course. But, you know. It was like, I just couldn't deal with it, so that was the best way to do it, right? Ultimately, it was right for me at the time, even though, of course, I should, shouldn't have been streaming at all, right, in those times. Those times I just shouldn't have been streaming at all, really. Some real bad times. Well, there you go. Somehow, Fatal Justice just instantly recovered from that pitch invasion. Hancock used all his rerolls, got no real pressure at all. But also took no no real damage to like the tackle promise, that was good. And tackle mighty. Like considering how many times the ghouls got hit, you might have been expected to have taken a bit of damage, but obviously it didn't generate any damage either. <laughs> Alright, there you go. <laughs> Not an evil guy, no, just a stupid and depressed one. <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> It's a dumbass. I'm like a clever dumb person. Or a dumb clever person. Oh, a riot! 
<laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm tired and I haven't really been trying to do, you know, critical, super critical Artemis-like breakdowns of the play. <laughs> but I, you know, don't understand blitzing this way if you're going to be pushing the other side, but, you know. It also didn't really set up for a, what, uh, he should have set up for the riot, right? He should have, he should have, he should have had four speedy players here, he should have had both ghouls, three white, three ghoul, three ghouls, two whites over here, and then blitz this one and push down. I'll blitz this one even. One, two, three, four, four. Blitz this one and push down. Could have actually had something going. Ah, I've still fucked anyway with a kick. Doesn't matter. Yeah, Elliot's out in this raff. This raff was amazing. The funny thing is, like, a lot of Artemis casts are really good, like, where he, like, you know, actually looks at things and discusses things. It just gets lost in amongst the. What a complete fucking moron! And stuff there, you know, it gets a bit, gets a bit over the top. <laughs> wow, stop! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Hancock. I mean, they're not that. They're not that nice, but they're fine. Dice can carry anything. At the, at the end of the day, dice are the most important part of the equation. Because, you know, a dog could win a game of Blood Bowl against K-Fog if every single dice roll was a 1 for K-Fog and every single dice roll was a 6 for the dog, right? It's possible. Or a literal penguin. Or a figurative penguin, like uh, Hancock. Whee! <laughs> Just a joke. Like on Top Gear. Given the hit back there, well, I don't know why they fire. I guess the eggs don't get so. Yeah, you've got to try to score to win. Like you just had to set up for the riot there. I think. I just think you had to set up for the riot. And obviously, it's easy to say after getting the riot, but still, I still think I had to set up for the riot. I've seen chips drive cars in the stadiums. Yeah, that's true, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, it doesn't seem like Hancock's had very good day. Well, I'll be honest, I wasn't really watching. <laughs> I wasn't really watching the decisions he was making. <laughs> I guess he wasn't either. I guess I slept through this game the way Hancock slept through this game. So there you go, we've both put... Equal amounts of effort into <laughs> him into playing it and me into casting it, and both of us into paying any attention to what the hell's going on. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I hated it. Funny story about scheduling. Um, I was in a league. OFL. And I was in OFL. And this was when my... Uh, it's the CCL, the, uh, you know, the Champions Cup at the end of... Uh, Chalice at the end of the season. Um, of the ladder. Funny story. I mean, a hilarious story. There's a league called the OFL, which is a scheduled league. And, you know, this was when I'm at my lowest point, mental health-wise. And, you know, I scheduled a game and I didn't really want to play it. Like, I really didn't want to play it, but I scheduled it. And it was, you know, against somebody who, you know, probably that's the only time they could play or whatever. You know, somebody with limited availability, this is where I've got to play it. And, and maybe, it, maybe it wasn't, right? Maybe it was when I thought it was a good time. But at the end of the day, I don't know how I'm going to be feeling on the day, right? So, you still got to play, though, right? So, I'm, so I've got to play this game. I totally don't want to play it. Worst, worst timing ever, like, it's horrendous. And then, like, I don't know if I conceded or whatever, but, like, I was just like, fuck this. And then, uh, and it might not have even been OFL, it might have been Rebel. But whatever it was, I, I, I'm, I'm probably conceded the match. 
and quit Rebel, quit OFL, quit SFL or whatever. Like, I just quit every league I was in. And I was like, fuck this. Do you know what I mean? Like, I I'm, I'm, can't schedule because it's just, you know, I can't. I can't handle having to play when I can't play. Um, and obviously I didn't know when it was going to be like that, so I was just like, fuck this. And then Spider, who was the OFL admin, literally looked at, like, over the next few days, used, uh, used Goblin Spy to see how many games I played in Ladder, and said, oh, he's not quitting for his mental health. What an absolute fucking knobhead. That's my opinion of Spider. <laughs> also, I think he got it wrong and said, oh, he played in Rebel, because that was like one that I'd already played. So I think he just got it wrong. I think he actually got it wrong as well. And like, did it use the wrong dates, but still. So yeah, I, I kind of hate scheduling. I really do kind of hate scheduling. Yeah, you just got a tackle palm, haven't you? Tackle palm, try to set up mummy hits. Yeah, exactly. If you're in a good mood, bang out a bit of CCL. If you're in a bad mood, don't. <laughs> Say, I'll play you on Wednesday at 9pm, you know, in, in fucking five days' time, and you've got no fucking idea what you're going to be like. Oh, really, Alma? Well, there you go. Yeah, it's fucking shit, isn't it? And that was the funny thing, that's why that's why I played now uh Oof. Oof. That's why I played now Razzle, because I was actually in a pretty fucking good place to play. Like I was pretty good mentally to play then. I was feeling pretty sharp. And I thought, you know, I'll hype up the fact that I've got no chance. Try to lull him into a false sense of security bit. Do you know what I mean? Like I was really happy with like the mind games of going for it then as well. I quite like going over the sides. You've only got shithead zombies here, so I would have, I would have rather gone up here, and not put in the mummy over here maybe, and then blitzed over here. Yeah, league league can fuck off honestly. Well, I mean, I haven't said that, I'm in SFL. But, um... I'm going to try not to be in more than one anyway. And to be fair, I've always, like, I felt like I owed SFL a season at least, right? Because I'd, I'd joined when I was at my lowest twice. And then... I thought... Don't like the follow -up. And then I thought, uh, all that, when, when you come back here... Hmm. Um, I thought I owe them at least a real season after fucking it up a few seasons. Don't know who this shitter is. Ah, oh, the pointless, the pointless block give up instantly punished with a removal. Love to see it. Yes, Skuro, yes. Yes, that was incredible, wasn't it? That was incredible. And then they cited the fact that I had bent over backwards previous weeks. Um, and didn't bother doing that again this week as a negative. And also, I only responded to him just before the deadline. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> It was unbelievable. That 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 was the worst. Yeah, that was UK BBL and like, we, uh, UK BBL. Yeah, and like I was like I said, all I wanted was a 
I said all I wanted was an apology, like, and then I didn't get it, so I was like, well, fuck you, then I'm quitting. Well, not all I wanted. Obviously, I wanted the fucking draw. Or a win. Like, if anything, I should have got the admin win. But, um... So now, now the switch to the right is better um, because he's got less players over here because they got removed. <laughs> Mummy down is obviously absolutely brutal and like game changing, not game killing yet, but game changing. I think I've still got the screenshots, Moradam. Um, SFL, yeah, three, three, one, zero, three, one, zero. I fell in the moment. No, the undead player. Ah, <laughs> sad, you dickhead. <sighs> Do you know what? I've uh, I've got the uh, I've got the vod. The vods weren't deleted. Skuro, you'll be glad to know, they just weren't published. So if you want some time, we can go through all the VOD and, uh, in detail and uh, and we can see we can see what happened. You can air your grievances if you want. The funny thing is that, like, I do want to, like, if, if Faulty does want to get better, I do want to help him. Like, obviously not in that game. Like, I don't give a shit about the result of that game at all, despite what you allegedly, well, apparently think. Um, but, you know, if, if he actually wants to get better, of course I want to help him get better. It's funny, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I can see that, but it's because, it's because it was just the way, it, it's just, it's literally just, I mean, that is true, right? That is true. That is true in a way, Skur, I'll, 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 I'll give you that that's true, but it was because of just what was said, right? I was like, when you're not, like, I was like, you're not trying though, you don't care, do you? And he said, I do care. And I was like, oh. Like, if he'd said that in the first one, I would have said, well, stop, stop fouling then, you fucking lunatic. Do you know what I mean? Like I would, it's just it's just the way it happened. It wasn't anything to do with who it was or anything. It just happened that way. Basically, it just happened that way that him saying that happened to be there. Like he actually said he wanted to not be shit. Whereas, yeah, no, it's fair. That's that is fair. That is fair because. I was just laughing at Fault Force fouling. I mean, it was hilarious. <laughs> I d to be fair, I was laughing at him fouling against you as well. <laughs> and that's why I said, why, why are you just throwing the match on purpose? And he said, I'm not, I'm just shit. And I was like, well, do you want to be better? Do you know what I mean? It just happened that way, really. It could have just coinky dink. Well, this is a bit fucked, isn't it? Hand off to the strength and run over there. Yeah, he did. I mean, that, that was definitely his. What like that was definitely his choice versus Trent. He's like out of fire every turn and stuff, but it was just pretty funny. But if he'd said if he'd said that he he wanted to learn during that match, I'd have definitely. Said, stop fouling every turn, then you absolute fucking loon. Oh. Well, that sucks. Sucks, don't it? Nah, it's just the, just the rookie, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's just it's just one of them things, isn't it? You can't really say that like the GFI or the dodge or whatever was bad because 
it failed. Like, it doesn't look necessary now because, like, you're probably not going to get another turn of stall out of it. So you can argue that it wasn't necessary because you weren't going to get the extra turn of stall even if you make it. But on the other hand. Four fingers and a thumb. And he's gone. Two turns left. I mean, the ghouls are pretty nice. But, and that was good getting banging one of them out. Seven KOs, brutal. Yes, Astrator, CRP. Well, not really. They're using CRP with idiotic variations. <laughs> Essentially. Well, actually, some good variations, but mostly idiotic variations. Which is a broken inducement system and 150k bankroll. There's a small buff for humans, which is quite good, I think. One out of four. Ooh, two out of six. Three, six, seven. And neither ghoul comes back. Yeah, exactly, Astrotor. Like that's why I was really hyped for fucking Blood Bowl three, right? And now I was really hyped for Blood Bowl three, just to have the modern rule set. And now I'm less hyped because it's physically painful to play. So it is like it's funny because it's got the it's got the girls and it's got the tackle pommel which is big, um, <coughs> but it's still just a bit light and not very good, isn't it? Yeah, Blood Bowl three is uh, there's been a few beaters for Blood Bowl three and that's coming out this year allegedly. Blood Bowl 2020. I mean, the thing about Blood Bowl 2020 is, like, even if it's not the best, at least it's, like, more up-to-date, isn't it? So you're not just playing, like, an ancient edition of the rules. And at least, uh, at least there's no Clawpom, which is... And there's no Natties, both of which are, like, the highest variance things in Blood Bowl, aren't they? Or least least defensible things I guess like how do you, you can't play around a natty you can try and kill it first and you can get five tentacles four or five tentacles but like you just can't play around it and claw pump can just demolish your team no matter what you do we do have mighty blow plus two yeah but you know you're only getting that if you download to TV and what's the worst thing in blood both Two being down 380 TV, so fair enough, isn't it? I don't even know how much more costs. Is it 380? It was 340, wasn't it? And then did the up it to 380. I mean, yeah, Astrotor, but it's also made. Made all new ones, like with a full bank, yeah. Yeah, the scumming's a problem, isn't it? The scumming is a big problem. Big problem is the scumming. Gonna be especially annoying for streamers. Artemis is gonna lose his shit when somebody just buys Mog against him. <laughs> oh god, in store as well. Store will get drawn versus somebody and make sure they lose by. Uh, not that he wins, you understand. It'll just make sure they lose by scumming Mog against them. 
Oh, Marida. Disgusting. Well, there you go. That wasn't the best two-turn attempt you've ever seen, was it? But there was just too few undead to, like, really get in the way. There you go. Congratulations, Fatal Justice. Amazon's will never win chalice. Commiserations, Hancock. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.